Hi guys, welcome back. In today's episode, we're going to be rehydrating solder paste, old solder paste. I've had this one for about maybe two years now. It was stored in the fridge. However, as even you can see here on syringe that the top part is starting to get old and crusty. So uh, um, we're going to rehydrate it and make it just as good as new. So first let's get the paste out of the syringe and how it ages usually, whether it's in a bottle like that or in the syringe, everything that is exposed to air, so around the plunger here or around the nozzle, that will start getting uh, dried up. However, the center would still be good. Uh, we're not just going to be uh, getting rid of top and bottom and keeping the center, we're going to be rehydrating the whole paste. Uh, there's plenty of videos on YouTube on how to do that uh, using uh, either normal uh, something like RMA 218 flux or um, 800 flux which is the uh, non-clean but the problem with that is that you still get old lumps in the paste so even after you rehydrate it and it looks fine uh, just like this one which I have rehydrated so it, it does look really fresh and nice but it does have plenty of lumps so if you load it into the syringe you're gonna get blockages of the nozzle and you'll have nightmare dispensing it so we're going to be redoing it completely so it doesn't have any lumps in it so first let's get it out of the syringe with a big syringe it's easy I can just get the plunger out and as you can see uh, this one is still okay but yeah so first let's get all the paste into the container as you can see I've started to get some paste of the plunger and it is in pieces so it is too dry and if you rehydrate it like that it will be good but it'll still have clumps like this as you can see the middle paste that is in the middle of syringe it's uh, it is a bit dry but it is okay so I've got uh, most of the paste out there's a little tiny bit left in the syringe but that's all right I'm gonna wash it out so I usually would uh, use a paint thinner to wash all the syringe and soldering paste out of it so we will reload that syringe later on with a fresh paste so you want to make sure it's clean doesn't have any lumps now that that's done we're going to add uh, a little bit of RMA 218 and mush it all together I use a metal uh, stick like that to mush it together so about that much should be all right and we're going to get it to somewhat liquid consistency so as you can see it's more or less liquid consistency now but it is full of lumps so to, to get rid of lumps I'm going to put the glove on because we will be using our finger and that's where we got the second container handy I've got this old stencil uh, from BGA Rework, which is a 0.25 uh, millimeters grid. Uh, you can use any other really fine mesh or anything. Get the Stanley knife ready also. Just extend it as far as you can. And we're going to grab a little bit of that paste, place it on the mesh, and then using a finger, just start rubbing it and pushing it in. And as you can see on the other side, it starts poking out. So once you get quite a bit of that, um, and I can already feel the lumps in here as I'm mush mushing it in. Um, as you get a bit of paste, maybe that much, as you can see, uh, simply take the Stanley blade and just uh, get it off there and put it in a fresh container. And then continue doing this until you get the, through the whole container. It does take time, so it may take you about half an hour to do all that. But at the end, you'll get the really good, nice uh, lump-free paste. Occasionally, you will get the top blocked. So you can either clear it out by simply wiping all the stuff like that off and putting it back and mixing it in with the main container or using a Stanley blade and kind of scraping it off to clear all the little holes mushing it in there again and putting it back the fresh stuff on and that works just fine at the end you will end up with a some 
lumps that did not uh, dissolve in a paste and you'll have to throw them away. So I have uh, filtered all the paste. This is all the clumps that are left. You can see they are dry and they just, they just, as you can see, just easily falling off. That's all the clumps that were, that are unusable and we have to throw them away. Uh, that's all the paste that is uh, just, we just filtered and you can see it's nice and smooth. So we're going to give it a quick mix and let me show you. Very smooth, very nice, very clean paste. No clumps nice and clean so this will definitely easily flow through through your syringe let's now reload it into the syringe and then we'll give it a quick test to see how well it reflows the syringe is now nice and clean so i'm going to replace the end of it and now i'm going to get all this paste back into the syringe usually i just get quite a bit of it on the stick get it into the syringe, push it all the way down, and then push it against the wall and twist the stick. Now I'm going to add a little bit of the 800 no clean flux, just a couple of drops into the syringe, maybe about five drops. And I'm gonna stir it inside the syringe. This way it helps to get all the air bubbles out and let it settle properly. Sweet, now we're just going to replace the plunger. There we go, so we got our solder paste back. And that's going to be really nice and easily, yeah, just a little bit of pressure and you can see it's, it's already coming out. So that's going to go back in the fridge and that's now refreshed paste from years ago. When does it actually say? 2017 so it's actually four years old so that paste is four years old and it's now refurbed and it works great I've got this board here so we're going to apply some of the paste on the contacts so I have uh, just removed this capacitor here and using the paste we're going to put it back in place and see how well it performs And sure enough, it did, just needed a little bit of correcting. A bit messy, but I'm not sure why it's not, it doesn't wanna. So as you can see, the paste is working well so here it is i hope you enjoyed this video uh, and it helped you save your old paste thanks for watching my name is max see you next time bye